This video shows how to install Sailrite's patented solution to a direct drive system called the Posi Pin. The Posi Pin is an excellent replacement for a compression clutch mechanism. To install the Posi Pin components, remove the belt cover if there is one, then remove the screw in the clutch knob. Then just simply grasp the clutch knob and remove it. Once the clutch knob is removed, you'll find a clutch washer underneath. That also can be removed and set aside. We'll remove the belt here and then just grasp the balance wheel and pull it directly off. Underneath, you'll find a bushing. That bushing has to be removed. We'll use a punch to roll this around so that that roll pin or tension pin is at the top so we can use a hammer and a punch to punch it out. Alright, you can see it coming out the bottom here. There it fell out. Here's what it looks like up close, that roll pin or tension pin. If you have a gear puller, we recommend using a gear puller to remove the bushing. Do not use a screwdriver as you may pull the shaft out of place. A gear puller works great. In lieu of that, we can do it this kind of makeshift way by using nuts and just putting nuts in there and then using the old clutch knob and screwing it on. By doing this, that bushing will be pushed off without have, having to uh, apply pressure on the shaft, which may throw the entire machine out of adjustment and timing. So don't do it with a screwdriver and pry. In lieu of a gear puller, you can do it this way. Once the clutch knob is tight, remove it again and then insert another nut. A nut that fits in there, as that's all you're looking for. So here's the first nut that fell out, and then we'll put a second nut in there and then give it a few more turns until that bushing slowly works its way off of that shaft. Here's our second nut. Screw the clutch knob back on again. It's also necessary to, to hold the take-up arm to prevent the shaft from rotating, so that's what I'm doing there on the left hand, hand side. You can see the uh, bushing coming off the shaft just by inserting those nuts. We'll put another one in there. And they sometimes do fall out, so take care when you're putting them in there that they are all on top of each other. Here's an yet another one. Almost off. There it is, falling off. Now let's see how many nuts are in there. So we have six nuts in there, and it came off. We'll now take the bushing and install the set screws for the bushing. There are two of them on here at almost 45 degree angles. We'll use the Allen wrench that uh, is a 3 32nd size and screw those into this bushing. Do not screw them all the way through, just enough to keep them in place. We'll then take a rag and clean the shaft to make sure there's no debris on that. You may also use oil to slide it on there nicely if you choose. Now we'll take the bushing and slide it onto that shaft. We do not want it all the way up against the face of the sewing machine. Just about a sixteenth inch of away, away uh, is perfect. Um, so you just don't want a lot of slop, but you don't want it all the way up against the machine. Once it's set in position, take your Allen wrench, your 3 32nd Allen wrench, and lock both of those set screws in place. Use a lot of tension here. It's necessary that these babies be locked on there nice and secure. There we are. There are three choices of balance wheel. Either the smaller diameter balance wheel, the Power Plus wheel as shown here, or the Monster 2 balance wheel. We'll install the nut, and you'll notice here it's reverse threaded, so I'm actually locking it in place by turning it uh, counterclockwise. Now take the posi pin and insert it in any one of the holes on the balance wheel. Rotate the balance wheel until it finds a hole on the shaft and you have 100% power transfer. Here's the keeper for the posi pin when you're winding bobbins. Let's do it one more time. Insert it into the balance wheel, rotate the balance wheel, it locks in place, you have 100% power transfer. This is the large diameter belt for the Monster 2 balance wheel or the Power Plus wheel. Start it on the idler pulley and then rotate it on the, the large diameter balance wheel just like you do a bicycle chain. The cover here that, that we used to have on the sewing machine is a little bit too small for the Power Plus wheel or the Monster 2 balance wheel. You may need to order a belt cover for a large diameter balance wheel. After the posi pin components are installed on your sewing machine, you'll find your balance wheel no longer slips and gives you more power.